Safe food depends on you. People can become ill from unsafe poultry and seafood products. Your job is to make sure the foods your company produces are made in a clean manner and are safe to eat. This video is about good food handling practices for workers. Rules and procedures at your company may be different from others, but all companies want to produce safe food. I really like my new job. The training program yesterday was very helpful. One of the most important things I learned was to keep myself and what I work clean. There's invisible bacteria everywhere. He's worried. We are everywhere just waiting for the right conditions to help us grow and grow. Besides being good at growing, we love to make people sick. Bacteria and viruses are germs that can make a person sick, though they cannot be seen or smelled. Unsafe food can look, smell, even taste right. So it is important to keep invisible bacteria off food at work and at home. Hi, Marco. Are you ready to walk today? We made it this far. Let's see what happens next. I hope it stays warm and moist around here. Always remember you are preparing food for someone just like you to eat. It is even more important to take care of the food your company makes because it may not be eaten right away. Keep all unnecessary things out of the food processing and packaging areas. Put all personal things like coats, sweaters, and lunch boxes away or in a locker. If you wear jewelry, take it off and put it in a safe place, or better yet, leave it at home. What's hang out here for a while? Is there anything to eat? Hey, who turned out the lights? Plant workers do not use tobacco products, chew gum, eat, or drink except in areas that have been marked. Using tobacco products, chewing gum, eating, or drinking is not permitted in work areas because these things can introduce harmful bacteria onto foods. For instance, when smoking, bacteria in your mouth get on your fingers from holding a cigarette. Then, when you touch the food, the bacteria will get on the food. Now let's review the first few steps for taking care of ourselves at home and work. Put personal items in proper place. Take off jewelry. Only eat, drink, and smoke in areas where allowed. Hands carry bacteria. One out of five illnesses from eating food is due to improper hand washing. Here we are. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water before handling food, after going to the restroom, and after going on break. Wash your hands with soap and water for 30 seconds, and be sure to clean under your fingernails and between your fingers. Air dry your hands with a hot air blower or use paper towels. If your company has an automatic hand washing machine, use it as instructed. Just as important, all processing personnel must follow the company's policy. If you are sick or have an infected sore, report to your supervisor for a temporary assignment. Remember to avoid touching your face or body while on the line. If you do, wash your hands immediately before resuming work. All workers should wear clean outer clothing. Soiled clothes can be a source of bacteria that can be transferred to clean equipment or food. When workers move from a raw food processing area to a finished food area, they should completely change clothes and shoes. This way, they prevent the transfer of bacteria from raw food to finished food. Finished foods may not be thoroughly heated again by the consumer before eating. The quality of any food, including seafood and poultry, begins to decline the minute it is harvested or slaughtered. For the best quality and safety, Handle the product carefully and quickly. Keeping the food at the proper temperature while storing, handling, heating, and cooling is important to all products made in the plant. Bacteria like to grow at room temperature and can grow quickly when it is warm. This is why some work areas are kept cold. The bacteria grow slowly when it is cold and will not reach harmful numbers during processing. Why is it so cold in here? I like it better outside, where it was nice and warm. 
This worker is writing down the temperature of the chilled chicken every 60 minutes. If it is greater than 40 degrees, she must notify the supervisor. This procedure is part of the HACCP plan. HACCP stands for Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point. This is one control step in processing where temperature is monitored and controlled. A food safety hazard can be prevented because bacteria grow faster at temperatures over 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's look at a few examples. In a poultry processing plant, it is important to make sure that the boned poultry products are not allowed to pile up at the end of the boning belt. The product should be kept cold below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. In a seafood processing plant, such as this crab picking house, care must be taken to assure that the product is kept at room temperature for the shortest possible time, a time specified in the company's HACCP manual. This is especially important because the crab meat has already been cooked and may not be cooked again by the consumer. Time and temperature are two important factors in keeping food safe. Keeping the food out of the danger zone between 40 degrees Fahrenheit and 140 degrees Fahrenheit will keep bacteria from growing quickly and reaching harmful levels. Keep the product cold while processing. Make sure the food stays out of the danger zone and its temperature stays below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. This is also true for hot foods that need to be cooled. Make sure they cool down through the danger zone quickly. Your company may have a policy for each food product. Follow your company's guidelines. Temperature control is important to the safety of the foods your company produces. Keep the food moving. Keep cold foods cold. Keep hot foods hot. Washing, when properly done, removes all the buildup of food materials on processing equipment. First, rinse the surface with water and detergent. If you use sponges or mops, they must be thoroughly cleaned and stored in a sanitizer. Uh oh Here comes the soup and water! I don't think we can hold on. After cleaning, the surface is rinsed, and then chemicals are used to kill the bacteria. Then the bacteria will no longer grow and get on the next food product. Using a chemical to kill bacteria is called sanitizer. Hey, what's that guy using? Help! Cleaning and sanitizing are done together to assure food safety. This is important for many types of food processing, including poultry and seafood. Your supervisor will show you how to keep equipment clean. Just like hands, all utensils and surfaces of equipment that touch the food during processing must be carefully cleaned and sanitized, according to the schedule your supervisor tells you. Remember brushes and other cleaning aids must also be cleaned and properly stored. The movement of bacteria from raw foods to cooked foods is called cross-contamination. The places in your plant or home where raw ingredients or foods are handled are kept separated from food that has already been safely cooked. When foods are heated, bacteria are killed. If raw products or the equipment that handles them come in contact with cooked foods, the bacteria can move on to the cooked product. Workers' hands, gloves, and outer clothes, utensils, and food handling equipment that has been used for raw foods must not come in contact with cooked products. These things must be cleaned and sanitized first to prevent harmful bacteria from contaminating the food. Likewise, hands or equipment that touch processing wastes must not touch products or product services. In some plants, processing and cleaning equipment is color-coded and used only with raw or cooked product. Not only is personal cleanliness important, but the food processing equipment needs to be kept clean and sanitized. Remember to follow directions. Wash utensils and equipment to remove all food materials. Sanitize with the proper chemical after cleaning. Clean and sanitize according to your company's schedule. A trained worker who follows directions and becomes comfortable with these guidelines gives himself or herself the power needed to control invisible bacteria. Harmful bacteria are found in many places, but good personal hygiene, proper temperature control, preventing cross-contamination, and proper cleaning and sanitizing gives all workers the power to produce safe food for families like their own.